What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to talk a little Galactic Star Cruiser. Yeah, we're going to check in on the Galactic Star Cruiser. Talked about this on the live stream. Don't miss our live streams. We have a lot of fun, a lot of laughs, a lot of laughing going on. And uh, they've added a new activity that you could pay for on top of everything else. They've added a new activity that's supposed to enhance your experience on the Galactic Star Cruiser. Yeah, there's the captain's table. We knew about that. It's $30 extra to have dinner with the captain. Uh, you can get exclusive merch if you're staying on the Star Cruiser. Only you can get it if you're staying there. Robes, hats, and stuff. You can get a uh, portrait experience. You could pay extra up to $100 plus dollars and where, where people come and kick everybody out of the room and you can get a, a private photo session. Some people probably like that. But here it is, everyone. The new activity that you could pay for is the image design uh, species. That's, I guess that's what it says there. This is the image design. Um, I've been asking around on what this costs, and I, I've been told $60. So if that is incorrect, please correct me in the comments section below. We want to get accurate information here. So if it's like, nah, Jay, it's like 25 bucks, or, or it's 50 or it's 40 just tell me so I know. All right, I've been hearing 60. So until somebody corrects me, we're going with 60 bucks. We're going with 60 bucks. And or maybe it's a uh, different for each one. I'm not sure. Maybe it's different. This one seems pretty simple. A little highlight around the eye, a couple little splotches, and you're done. You know, the image design. We're going to look at all of them here. We're going to look at all of them and uh, see what you can get to enhance your stay at the Galactic Star Cruiser. It says, it says enhance your character with a personalized galactic makeover right in your cabin. Now, now let me just uh, correct that because it says it's right in the cabin, but right here it says the cabin door will remain open during the transformation. Uh, the makeover experience will take place at the entry area of your cabin. And I totally understand that. I totally get that. You don't want people in your room. You don't need us. That, that could cause all kinds of problems. So they're going to open your door and you're going to sit out in the hallway while somebody comes and paints your face. Uh, you know, like, like at a carnival. At a carnival. Now they do this at uh, Universal Studios. At least they used to. And you could paint your face like the Hulk or, or Spider Man and walk around the park all day and all day and be the Hulk. I'm sure it was fun, I guess. Uh, guests should arrive at their cabin 15 minutes prior to service time. Transformations take 30 minutes. 30 minutes? I, that, there's no way that takes 30. Maybe some of the other ones. There's no way that, that takes 30 minutes. Aaron or guard must be with you. Must be seven years or older. Totally get that. How to book. Call the specialist. Uh, 60 days prior to visit. And uh, as an add-on. There you go, as an add-on. And then they're like, go to Shop Disney and buy more stuff with your face paint. And off you go. Now, there's an issue here. Because it says here, look for the blue Batu approved symbol in the species design examples if you'd like to wear a look in the parks where only partial face coverings are allowed. So let me get this straight. You pay all this money. You pay all this money. And then you pay extra to get your face painted. And when the day comes when it's like, hey, we're going to Batu, we're going to Hollywood Studios, we're going to the theme park, um, they're gonna be like, sorry. Imagine if you're <laughs> imagine if your child gets his face painted, he's all excited, looks like Darth Maul or whatever, and they're like, Hey, we're you can't go, wash it off. Wash it off, Billy. I know we paid all this money, but they're not gonna allow you in the park. What what's the point? What what's the issue? So this one is bought to approved. All right, so we're good with that one. Let's uh, this is non bought to approved. This is just blue. I swear you could probably do this yourself. Um, you're not allowed to have blue face makeup in the theme parks. They're not allowing that. That's too bad. I I will say this: people that really get into it should be allowed. You should give them like a special button or a pin to walk around saying, I'm on the Halcyon. I paid six grand. Let me experience everything. Don't put this face makeup on me only to have me wash it off 10 minutes later when I go to my excursion at the Galaxy's Edge. This is non Batu approved. All right. I guess like anything that's uh, painting everywhere, they're like, nah, can't have it. 
This is also non bot to approve. Like, what are the, what's the harm? Are, are, what, what are they afraid of? I'm just curious. Like, what do they think is going to happen? They're like, oh, my God, mom, there's a man with blue paint on his face. Get me out of it. You think that's what's going to happen? The, the people go to the Star Cruiser <laughs> just to, to play make believe, to LARP. And you want that immersion, immersive experience from the box truck, you know, to Galaxy's Edge and beyond. So what's the problem here, Disney? Why why you want to charge people all this money and then have it gone? This is not This is not Batu Batu approved. And that just looks funny. I'm sorry. Like you got the blue eyebrows and the let's move on. This is not Batu approved. This is actually pretty awesome. Like a lot, I could see a lot of young people would want to look somewhat like Darth Maul. Uh, but it's not Batu approved. What is this? What is this young person? What, what's going to happen to him if he went to Galaxy's Edge with this on his face? This one is Batu approved. It's, it's nothing. It's just nothing but eye makeup, lipstick, and a couple dots. Seriously. A couple dots on your face. <laughs> this is also bot to approve. This is a uh, stencil, man. It's like dots around the eye. Who can't do this at home? I maybe I should try and see if I can do. No, I'm not. I'm not. Don't get me started. I'm not doing that. This is also bot to approve. All right, so we got one. I, I can see the theme here. It's like don't cover your whole face. Just have a couple lines and dots. But can she wear this headdress? I think they can because I think they sell this at Galaxy's Edge. So if they're going to sell a product, they want you to advertise it. This is uh, <laughs> this is not Batu approved. <laughs> and you want to know something? I don't blame them. This shouldn't be walking around a theme park. This shouldn't be walking around a theme park. But I mean, hey, it's it's. <laughs> Uh, all right, this is bot to approve. <laughs> this one, yeah, it's nothing but a couple lines. No way this takes 30 minutes. Uh, Got to be five, 10 minutes tops. Um, I'm sure the people that are upset with me will probably tell me how dumb I am for thinking this takes 10 minutes to do. Uh, someone tell me in the comments section, how long do you think that would take to do? How long? This is not bot to approve. <laughs> Again, it's the theme. It's the whole thing. You can't have your old face covered up. I don't know why. What's the difference? Like, what do you think people will happen? Do they think you'll like you work there? Like, isn't that the whole thing? You know, they want you dressed up. They want you to like uh, be in character. Here we go at the start. Like, look at that. That's OK. That's OK. But that's not OK. I, hey, man, I guess they make the rules and there you have it. There you have it. So what do you think this is worth, everyone in the chat? What do you think this is worth? Now, let's check. I've said a lot of things about the Galactic Star Cruiser. To me, I think it's a big missed opportunity. But maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, I just, this stuff kind of this stuff kind of makes me laugh. Let's see how they're doing. Well, look at that. May is not fully booked, but it's 80, 90 percent full. June, fully booked. But we've seen this trend. We've seen this trend with the Star Cruiser. When they get to the month, it seems like a lot of people drop out. Or, or they're only booking like 50% and they just lock it up. And then when they get closer to the day, they're like, hey, just, let's open up a few more. Let's open up a few more. See, that's what I want to know. I want to know, like, what does this mean when it's full? Is it 80, 70, or is it 100? So they got June and July. July's pretty much full, but like May 2nd is tomorrow. I'm um, recording this video, so that's open. See, I wonder if there's a coup. I wonder if I could call and say, you got an opening. I give you 150 bucks. You know, we're doing it. <laughs> uh, August, pretty much open except for the first week. September, pretty much open. October. All right, so the trend November, December is wide. Man, I'm surprised no one is uh, booking on Christmas, to be honest with you. To be honest with you. I wonder... If these are the highlighted, like the more expensive prices, because right now they're still showing the lowest prices, uh, not the more expensive one. Um, so I'm I'm curious to see what the high one would. 
curious to see what that would be. So uh, on the weekend, but we also got some information about the backstory of the Galactic Star Cruiser. I know everybody's dying to hear this one. So this coming from WDW News Today. The other one I got right off the Disney uh, website. So right here, the big backstory is the Halcyon was built in the same Carillion Engineering Company or at the same company shipyard as the Millennium Falcon. That's what makes this ship so special. Same company as the Millennium Falcon and its sister, Wonderlight, which was created by Shub, Shug, Shug Knight, Shug Drarbar, Hug, Shug uh, Drarbar. Yeah, he made it. Uh, he made the Falcon. He made the Halcyon. He made all that stuff. So now you know, and I hope that in, you know, entices you to want to stay. The whole the whole backstory is it it was it's been around for some time. Um, you know, this talks in about the uh, High Republic era, and then you know a little bit before the Phantom Menace, it was a casino ship run by the Huts. So that would explain, you know, Gaia, the singer and the DJ and all that stuff, because it's probably part of their background. Casino ship. Uh, there was a bounty hunter on there. You know, a decade later, during the time of the Clone Wars, Padme and Anakin Skywalker had an adventure on there. Probably conceived the twins. Just saying after the fall of the Republic, the Halcyon was under Imperial control and it was used as a retreat. For Imperial officers, yeah. You know, Grand Moff Tarkin, after blowing up a few planets, was like, uh, hey, Vader, I'll be back. I'm going on the Halcyon for a little R&R, &R, okay? I'm, I'm going to relax. So that's, that's where I'm going. Uh, we're going to put the Imperial officers over there to blow off steam. Yeah, that's good. After the fall of the Empire, the Chandra Starline was created, and it was the home of a honeymoon for a very famous Star Wars couple. That's right. Han Solo and Princess Leia. They went on there. They went on the Galactic Star Cruiser for their honeymoon. That's canon now, everyone. Right after the Battle of Endor. There you go. Well, I think that's all the Star Cruiser news we're going to talk about today. <laughs> hey, but good on you. You're filling up dates. All right, who am I? I, I just sit back and uh, have a few laughs. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. <laughs> Thanks for being here. We will catch you next time.